Welcome to RealHound University. This guide is going to walk you through how to add subsequent computers to your existing shared database. This video assumes that you have already created a database on another computer that has your entire list of users and teams and passwords and permissions. If you have not done so already, please check out our previous videos on how to set up our database and how to add our users and teams and connect it to live. Now setting up subsequent computers in order to sync with a database is a very similar process, however it shaves a few steps. Just like before, on our subsequent computers, we can click by creating a, a brand new database. Just like before, save it in our RealHound Live program folder. I recommend skipping step two and down in your file name, name the database whatever you'd like. Now, as a reminder, your database name should always be eight characters or less with letters and numbers only, no special characters like dashes, spaces, periods, ampersands. Once I'm ready, I can click select, and it tells me that my new database has been created, and again, that a user has been created for me to log in with. I can say OK, and my new database shows up here on the list. Now, when we log into our new database, in order to set it up to sync with an existing database over Share Anywhere, I'm going to want to log in as the administrator. Now again, because the database is brand new, there's no password on it, and I can simply enter my username and click login. Now in order to set this up to start syncing, I will again go and modify my users and teams. And I can do that by going to File, Administration, Users and Teams. Now on this users and team screen, on this subsequent computer, uh, we are going to set up the administrator just as we did before. We're going to enter in the password. Now the password needs to be exactly the same as it was uh, set up on the first computer. So if my password on the first computer I set up with Sharon was, where it was RealHound, then my password for the administrator on this computer needs to be RealHound as well. And I can click set password. And again, we're going to check this checkbox to allow the live connection. Now for the second user, we can simply delete it. So click the user from the list, select the delete user button, and then confirm it. Now why do we do that? We do that because the users have already been created on the other computer. So when we begin syncing for the first time, all those users and passwords are going to come down automatically into this database and allow us to log in with them. Saves us the time and energy of having to go back through and set up the users exactly as they were on the first computer. Once I'm finished doing that, I can close this screen. And my only step left is to go to File and Live to connect this database to Share Anywhere. Now I could take a backup, but this is a brand new database, so there's really no need at this point. I can simply come down here, plug in my shared database name and my PIN number, and click Connect. And it tells me that my shared database name was successfully set, which is exactly what I want to see. And I need to log out and log back in to begin the synchronization. I can say OK, close this screen, and just as instructed, I'm going to go back to my login screen. So File, Login to Database. Now on this screen, we have our username. We can enter in our, our password we just set up for the, the administrator. And I can click Login. Now the administrator is the only user in this database at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and click Login. And down in your bottom right hand corner in your system tray by your clock, you should see a little stack of silver coins or cookies, whatever you want to call them, a little silver can. Uh, the silver means that they that RealHound Live is turned on but not currently syncing. And if I want it to sync, I can right click on those silver cookies and say sync now and that's going to force the synchronization. Now in order to log in as the other users, you're going to want to let that synchronization run fully for the first time. So allow RealHound to stay open as long as those cookies stay gold. And once they're finished and turned back to silver, you can again log out, log back in. But this time when you log in, you can log in as the user that you want to log in with. At that point, you should no longer log in as the administrator. Uh, thank you for taking the time with us today. If you have any questions on how to do this, please feel free to email support at realhound.com or check out our setup class uh, held regularly throughout the week. 
Thank you and have a great day.